It's that time of day when you can chill out and relax. Create this time as a set apart moment in your existence whereby you can think things through, look at your life in a different way, use a combination of symbols and ideas to bring yourself into balance and harmony and equilibrium and understanding and use today the power of the runes. In order to just like um, think, chill, relax. It's all symbols, it's all ideas, it's all things that help you to look at yourself from an energetic point of view and create some kind of change of perspective. This reading is going out to anyone who is watching this. It's not going out specifically to a particular person. It might resonate well with you, it might not. But you can let me know in the comment section, all right, as to whether it's doing you some good or whether it's not. And then I will learn from what you tell me, because that's the way it works. If you like the effort I'm putting in to try and get videos out every single day, um, give me a thumbs up, rate, comment, subscribe, favorite and share, click the bell and all that fun stuff because that's what we have to do on YouTube and if I don't tell you then you won't do it because you're a YouTube viewer just like myself, okay, just try these things, it'll be good for you. Alright, here we go. Your three card rune reading for today. And all three of them are upright. Remember there's only 24 staves or symbols within a uh, the major Futharkian rune set. So it's quite likely that we will get more repeats coming out than when we're doing the tarot which has 78 cards in it. Okay, So we have a repeat. We have the Isar rune coming out again. We also have the K rune that I used to call Ken when I was young and learning these things. Here it's called Kaunas. Hmm. And it's kind of like, this one's actually quite accurate, really. The imagery is quite accurate. It's the symbol of the, of the stave. Because it's about fire and illumination and carrying a torch. Uh, carrying a torch for somebody else, maybe. Carrying illumination into a dark place. Finding ways of bringing uh, illumination knowledge and wisdom in a dark environment. I mean, sometimes you can have a conversation with someone who's close to you, they don't understand what you understand, so therefore that's darkness. Not in terms of evil, but in terms of ignorance. So I feel this one is uh, trying to remind you that talking things through with people and helping them to understand a new point of view is really important because everyone is ignorant in some respects. Everyone is in the darkness. What can you do to try and help to spread uh, wisdom, warmth, light, care, compassion, understanding, science, art, technology, um, clarity, illumination, wisdom, what, you know, whatever. What can you do to spread these things rather than just keeping it to yourself and thinking no one's ever going to think the way that I do. Of course they're not. No one thinks the way that I do. No one thinks the way that you do. But there's something that you know that other people need to know. What can you do to help bring that into effect? Now the Sigrun which in this deck is called Sowello, which sounds a little less aggressive, really. That's all another fire symbol, a very strong fire symbol, talking about overcoming things, also the passage of time, the, um, the, the cycles within universe and nature and your life. It's also talking about power over things which are negative and trying to bring about a certain level of purity of thought. Okay, don't you find sometimes your mind is a bit muddled, you've got a lot going on. The character in this particular card is trying to subdue a serpent-like, dragon-like creature. Just through placing his hand on his head, that's all it's doing, placing his hand nicely, <laughs> slow down, relax, think things through. So you're bringing knowledge, you're bringing Promethean fire from heaven. All right? You're calming down the forces of ignorance and darkness, somehow. And also, the other symbol of slowing down, the Isar rune, which is expressed here as a symbol of wisdom and searching for something bigger and better and more powerful and more loving. But also from a point of view of authority. What do you have authority over and what do you think you've got authority over but haven't? Does that make sense? Have you worked out what you've got authority over and what you have not? What would you like to have authority over and what don't you have authority over? What aspects of life can you get involved in and what aspects of life can't you get involved in? Alright? 
maybe there's even individuals or places or locations which are wrong for you and you need to avoid them. Just something to think about. All right. Now, if there's anything which I've said today which has made you feel good or happy or has given you clarity of thought or a moment of contemplation, hit that like button, subscribe, rate, share, favorites, uh, click the bell. And also, remember, I am your professional online street performer for today, so if you're just passing through, fine. But if you like what I'm doing and you want to encourage me to put out more content, uh, chip me a couple of dollars via the Super Thanks button, and I'll be very happy to oblige, even if that's just to help me to get through the cost of living crisis, or whether it's to help me to get myself a nice dinner on Sundays, then that would be a good thing, because I will feel that I'm being, you know, I'm being shown the love for the hard work I'm putting in. And also, you like the content, so it's a win-win situation. Don't contribute financially if you can't afford it. That's okay. But also, if you can, don't forget you're investing in me, investing in this channel, investing in all the things which are good, true, and wholesome, in my humble opinion. All right. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. The sanctimonious blessings of the universe be upon you, your family, friends, your loved ones, and everyone you've ever cared for ever throughout the experience of existence on the face of this planet. And I'll speak to you very soon.